guys, Happy Conscious Gal here. Uh, it's night time here, which means it's kind of strange lighting. So I don't know what color you're seeing on the screen. I might be looking very strange. I might have big black eyes. Although actually my eyes are green. But in this lighting, who knows? Anyway, I decided to do this vlog because I have had a really rough week. Like, really rough week, you know, and I know that this vlog is called Happy Conscious Gal and I'm supposed to be happy and actually I am still happy, but, you know, I, I want to be authentic. I want to share the difficult, challenging days as well as just the happy, easy, everything's going wonderful days. <laughs> so that's why I've decided to film a vlog right now, even though I'll be going through some hard stuff. But before I get into that, I just want to share that I did cheer myself up by getting my hair done. <laughs> Woohoo! As women, we know that as superficial as it sounds, something as simple as getting your hair cut for the first time in many months, which I did today, I hadn't had it done in over three months, can help you feel better. My self-esteem doesn't depend on my hair looking nice, my sense of self-love doesn't depend on my hair looking nice, I love myself when my hair's long and dark and boring just as much, but it does cheer me up to walk down the street with flicky hair. I like being flicky. <laughs> it cheers me up. It doesn't have any impact on my sense of self, but it cheers me up. So that's the paradox in which I live. You know, growing up as a, as a teenager who was very overweight, I developed my sense of self independent of my looks. I always had a lot of confidence and self-love in myself as a being and as an intelligent being. I was always considered very smart and, you know, I learned to really value my strengths. And I didn't really factor my looks into my opinion of myself because I wasn't particularly attractive. So I wasn't like one of those girls who was really pretty and their whole sense of themselves depended on their looks. And then when they lost their looks, they didn't know who they were. I was kind of the opposite. I was kind of the ugly duckling. So I really developed my sense of self separate from that. So, you know, looking good, not looking good doesn't really impact on how I love myself. But I think as a woman, we're here to radiate. We're here to radiate joy and we're here to radiate love. And it's an expression of our inner as much as it's an expression of our outer. And I think when you see people who are healthy, they're glowing, they feel good within themselves, their body's moving freely, their hair's shiny, they're obviously healthy, they've given themselves a haircut and a colour that they like, they're wearing clothes that they like, they're wearing colours that set off their eyes, you know, they come alive. It's an outward expression of our inner radiance. And for me, I'm all about the inner and the outer being congruent. You know, I had a period in my life where I did a huge amount of inner changes, huge, massive transformations of my inner self. And then one day I woke up and I felt that something on the outside needed to shift. And it was around that time I got my colors done. I've talked about that before. It sounds like a silly thing just to change the colors you're wearing, but I know you can't tell in this lighting what color this is. It's actually a kind of pinky burgundy. I don't think it looks like that on the, on the camera, but anyway. Uh, once I got my colors done, the colors that were given to me were colors that suited my complexion, that brought out my green eyes, that made me look healthy, that really were perfectly designed for my whole physiology. And they were much softer than the colors I had previously been wearing. I used to wear really like siren red, electric blue, you know, really out there colors because I wanted to have this out there personality and I was trying to express my personality through my colors. Anyway, as I had grown up, I had started to express my more feminine side and to bring out my softness and my grace and my receptivity and my flowing self and my masculine edges had started to, to soften and around the time I got my colors done I really had gone quite far in that process of bringing out my feminine side and so shifting to softer colors which were more authentic to me really matched that and they were kind of like the outer reflection of the inner change that had happened. I think something similar has happened with this weight loss journey I've been on. I did all the inner work first, really shifted all the reasons why I had put the fat on in the first place, which were mostly to do with protection, emotional issues. You know, I've talked about them in many previous vlogs. And, you know, HCD just happens to be the process I discovered. There may well be other processes out there to shift weight. You know, I'm not attached to this one. This is just the one that worked for me and worked for some other people too. And this protocol came along at the time when I was ready to have an outer reflection of the inner changes I'd already made in my self-love, in my feeling I was desirable to men, whether I was thin or fat, in feeling I was worthy of love, whether I was thin or fat, in letting go of all the 
inner wounding that had caused me to layer on the fat. And also because I'd gone through a long journey to recover from chronic pain and I didn't need the fat anymore. And so I've been found HCG at the exact perfect time and it's fallen off. And those of you who are into HCG know that I'm about to do uh, my very final stage of that protocol to shed the last little bit of fat. And it's really just that I'm wanting to shed it so that my outsides match my insides. It's not that I judge people for being thin or fat or small or tall or whatever. It's more just that I need an outer shift to match the inner shifts. And this is the outer shift that I'm choosing. Because I choose to be a particular shape that I feel is my authentic self. Just like I choose to wear particular colours that bring out my authentic colouring. I choose to be a size that brings out my authentic shape. So that's really what it's about for me. Um, so yeah, that's why I got my hair done today. It makes me feel good to be flicky. And you know, when you're doing HCG, you can't really use hair products and moisturizers and all the stuff in there, massage into your hair when they do your color. So I thought I'm doing it, gonna do it now before the round starts because three or four weeks, the next three or four weeks, I'm not gonna be putting any chemicals on my body. I'm not gonna be putting any oils or anything so I can't go to the hairdresser. And I think if I'd left it another four weeks, to do this, I probably would have started looking frumpy with long, plain hair again. And There's nothing wrong with long hair. I mean, long hair is beautiful, but it was just, to me, it has connotations of when I was a frumpy teenager and I didn't love myself. And I don't need to go back there. You know, I'm here now. So I want to have flicky hair now. <laughs> flicky hair suits my current incarnation of my personality. So that's all I want to say about that, as Forrest Gump would say. I just quoted an American film character. How interesting. Anyway, um, really what I wanted to share about was the shitness of this week. Oh.